Hitman has always had a competitive edge. In Absolution, we're giving you the opportunity to prove yourself. To challenge your friends, challenge the world, and even make custom hits yourself. The idea for Hitman Contract actually comes from seeing what the fans have done with our older games. They have created any number of, of really, really impressive uh, alternate hits, taking out clowns in interesting ways or really showing off what the game mechanics can do. In many ways, uh, uh, things that we didn't expect were even possible within the game, and, and they've done it. The Hitman games have always been about this dark creativity, I will, because the subject matter is dark, right? You are an assassin and you're killing people. And people always found different ways of doing it, new ways of doing it, and they always found, uh, found it fun to, uh, to challenge each other, talk about what did you do in this specific level, what, did, uh, what, what approach did you take? And this is uh, very much what fuels Contract. The fact that the Hitman Absolution is super replayable on a lot of levels, uh, which way you take, who you kill, what you do, what disguise you wear, what weapons you use, all that stuff easily transcends into contracts and it's actually the base of what makes that game mode so fun. You play to create. When we were looking at what to do uh, in Hitman Absolution as a supplement to the story, we talked about how could we enable fans to do that kind of thing and make it part of the game experience. You create contracts by playing the game, you mark your targets and you take them out and you move through the levels, creating the rules as you go. Contracts is very much about creativity you have to do it yourself. It's not only so we know that it's actually doable, but it's also a way for you to express your skill or your style while doing the contract. And then after you're done, you will uh, share this contract, you can name it, and then you put it on our servers, and your friends and everyone else is uh, able to play them. So playing through the game and creating the contract as you go um, takes the noble art of assassination and makes it into something that actually becomes a competitive sport. So it's the first time you can really go heads up with uh, some other players, right? By doing the contracts or by saying to your friends, okay, I challenge you guys, we take this contract uh, and then we see who of us is the best assassin, who gets the highest score. And that actually adds a new element to the game as well. So we can replay it, not only just to express creativity, but also to compete and show kind of who's the best. We have had a lot of fans request on forums this sandbox kill tool, if you will. All the previous Hitman games have been these sandboxes where you actually kill people however you want. And what they said is, why are we not able to do that? Why can't we pick the targets? And that's exactly what we're doing in Contracts. We're giving you the ability to go into a level and select the targets you want to kill, basically. And doing so, you actually change how that level plays, what it's about, what is the pacing, which route do you take. All that is pretty much defined by what targets you, you choose for other players to try to, uh, to kill. And that is really what makes Contracts uh, unique. Well, we're here in Cologne to show off the last missing piece of the Hitman Absolution to the press, which is uh, Contracts Mode. There's a lot of journalists in here right now. I think 270 journalists from across the world, so pretty exciting. It's super exciting for us. This is, we believe, what we call the exciter of the project. Uh, uh, 10-4, uh, someone bring me the blueprints for this place, for Christ's sake. You always need something new and exciting when you release a game that will make people talk about it. And we've been showing off things that are more or less like the old Hitman games, just kind of expand upon everything. But this is something that is completely new and hopefully something that will knock their socks off. All over the campaign we always think, yeah, when we get online questions, H47 works alone, H47 works alone. But now we sort of lift that last way and it's like, hey guys, you can play online, you can compete together and you're going to have a great time. It went uh, very, very well. It uh, kind of exceeded our expectations. I think people got a lot to take away. It was a very tight and very, you know, condensed presentation. People loved it. I talked to a lot of guys right now and they're uh, really surprised actually, like, this is something new, this is something fresh. We really want to play that, so couldn't be better. And that's why we kept it, you know, as the last puzzle piece to add it on top of what's already awesome, right? So we're in a good spot right now and I'm very happy about it. Let's find the world's ultimate assassins and the world's ultimate contracts.
It's all in the execution. 